What's up guys, welcome back to the Clown Vapes channel. Here we are again for another review. We're gonna be looking, well, more or less a retro review than an actual review, but we're gonna be looking at this guy right here, the Roundhouse Kennedy from, from Kennedy, the Roundhouse Mech Tube, and all that kind of thing. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at that guy right there. There it is. I'm gonna take you guys on the top down, do a up close and personal look and all that kind of jazz, and then we're gonna come up here and do some pros and cons. Catch you guys back up here. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Kennedy Roundhouse. As you guys know, these have been around for a minute. Or if not, yeah, they've been around for a minute. Uh, it's a very simplistic looking mod. Not a whole lot of design to it. It's just a very straight mech tube. Uh, there it is, Roundhouse 270, which means this takes 2,700 batteries. There's your serial number, 510, vent holes all the way around. Here is a 2,700. Very simple, very easy to put in battery kind of thing. So there is that. Let me show you guys the button assembly. The very simple button assembly right here. I can get this going here there it is very simple goes in there you guys have ever messed with the Kennedy you know you know what's up very simple straight to the point button getting that battery in there yeah there it is I'll rock this uh, green 25 on there. As you can see, 25 millimeter will fit that very, very nicely. Very nicely. And let me show you some, some of that quick action right there. Need to reduce those wicks up. They're getting very dry. But yeah, look at that. Very, very quick action very simple to the point so yeah that is the roundhouse very up close and personal i really don't have any packaging i don't have any other things i bought this second hand from a good friend of mine and you know what i've enjoyed the hell out of it so i'm gonna take you guys up top and we'll talk a little bit more about the mod very straight simple review on this or kind of more like a retro vape if anything all right so yeah i'll catch you guys up top <laughs> All right, guys, so that was a look back in time, if you can think about it that way. Uh, as far as I remember, the Roundhouse came out about last year, last summer, last like in 2018, which in real terms, it's not a long time ago, but in vaping terms, it could be a century ago, honestly. The way things progress, how much hard work comes out throughout the year and all that kind of thing. But yeah, so yeah, let's talk about the Roundhouse. Um, it's a 2700 mech mod. Uh, I will say, like, for me, that tends to be a con. The fact that they were that it's a 2700 mod, but at the same time, you got to keep in mind that back then they weren't really thinking ahead on 21700s quite yet. They weren't really a thing. Uh, there were some mods that were coming out. You know, there was like a, the idea of a 21700 battery that was about to come out and. They were like, hey, we have 20, 2700s. I think that'll be good enough for now. And that's how this banger came out. So, yeah, uh, as I was saying, a 25 millimeter right there. That's my 25, my Kennedy 25 millimeter trickster. There it is. All zoomed in. And. As you can tell, it's a hard-hitting mod. It works perfect. It's just more like that 2700 battery thing kind of never really took off properly. Trying to find a proper 2700 battery is kind of a pain in the ass. Sorry, I'm like adjusting my beard. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, per like Mucha's recommendations and stuff, there is some things that you can get. But at the same time, since there's rare batteries available to us that actually will uh, work perfect for these kind of things for max or just even regulated mods it tends to be a slight a bit of an issue trying to find those batteries because 
we only gravitate to the ones that we know will work and this and that so they tend to sell out quick they tend to go away fast and you know but there is some out there like there is a Sanyo uh I think the Sanyo A's or something like that 2700 all right yeah so it was the Sanyo A's I was trying to find it if I could see it and like yeah they're not available on anything uh I know there is uh can't even remember what they were called and I used to have some but I gave them away to a friend because he needed them. Uh, there's also the Sanyo NCR 2070Cs. Those seem to work, but I would, again, uh, I will put a link down below in the description. I'll try to remember for you uh, you guys to go over to Mooch and see his battery recommendations. Honestly, try to stick to like at least some standards that like he recommends. Look at what you're looking for. He put, sets the charts pretty, pretty direct onto what will work and all this kind of thing but seriously battery safety is a very major major component of all this and keep that in mind so for now i'm just rocking this uh with that with that um i don't even remember what battery is in here but yeah it's a 2700 battery and it's rocking and rolling so you can tell hard hitting mac tube really nice and the only con i guess i have is that it's a 2700 but at the same time for the time that's all we had and that's all they could do so yeah very very nice in the hand very simple design there's not much to it it's just a standard tube so yeah if you guys uh as far as i know kennedy is sold out on those and they haven't had them in a while but if you guys can get a hold of a second hand one uh it's worth a shot honestly but not just go for the standard, you know, Vindicator and Ruby 21s and stuff they got coming out lately. If you're wanting to go Kennedy, just saying there, there, there are options in the more modern times. But, you know, if you wanted to like revisit something from the past, that is always a good option. All right. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me on this, uh, you know, kind of retro look, I guess. I don't even know what to call this video. I'll probably end up calling it that. The Kennedy 20 what Kennedy 270 retro roundhouse look. All right. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me and as always, you know, go check out clownvapes.com for all your uh coil and juice needs. We got all sorts of hardware coming out constantly on there and um any other things you can find on the site out and even like i don't remember everything that i have on there but people seem to find things that i'm like when did i put that on there i don't even remember that but it happens and you know that works out for me so whatever um it just adds to the convenience of people being able to come to me for a one-stop shop kind of thing um go check out uh vaping with the omis over at the vaping with the omis channel mondays at 7 p.m central standard time and always always come have a good time with us hang out and all that kind of thing honestly um also go check out wolf bite on vape radio saturdays at noon and sundays at 9 p.m central standard time um yeah i think i've covered everything and you know seriously battery safety go over to mooch look them up on facebook it's either battery mooch or just mooch one of the two will work it'll pop up trust me i've done it a million times at this point and um or he even still has his, uh, what is it, uh, e-cigarette forum. I know that thing's still around ECF. That's still around. You guys can go check that out. Uh, I don't know if he has Reddit. I think he doesn't. I'm not sure because I know there's a there's an e-cigarette Reddit out there somewhere. All right. So thank you. And as always, mix on, bit on.